<clears throat> okay, so. Happy Wednesday. We've been playing Battletech for the next couple hours, and uh, as part of turn -based, hashtag turn-based Thursday Fest. The first hour is technically part of that, but I'm going to do an extra two, or an extra hour, because uh, I normally stream for eight hours on Sundays. Longest streaming day of the week for me. And um, after we're done with Battletech, we'll be switching over to Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. So, more turn-based stuff. Um, oh, just as a reminder, if you didn't already know, both uh, Age of Wonders 3, which we just finished up with, and Battletech are currently on sale over on Steam. Um, pretty big, deep discounts, if I remember right. What is the command? Oh, it's um, exclamation point TBFA. The bot hasn't said anything about it, right? Yeah, not lately. It's supposed to be Slack bot. Just a second. There we go. So. If you'd like to see any of the other games that are per currently being featured here on Turn-Based Fest, Turn-Based Thursday Fest, uh, click that link in chat, scroll down underneath the, a little bit onto the page, and it shows all the games that are currently being featured, and they are currently all on sale on Steam through tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. GMT. So if you haven't picked up any games on sale yet that you'd like to that are turn-based and you like them, now's your time, because they're usually pretty good prices. So, anyway, Battletech. I've not played Battletech in a while. <laughs> the last time I played this was when I first got this computer last year, back in July, I think it was, just to make sure the game ran well. Because one of the reasons I got this computer was because my older computer that I still have doesn't run Battle. It runs Battletech, but not consistently uh, for whatever reason. Uh, but uh, it seems to run fine in this computer. Currently not running any mods. Um, well, the only mod I'm using is uh, a self-mod, basically, is where I've gone in and changed a couple of the emblems, as you can see up the upper right-hand corner. That is Mickey, um, his portrait, and we have a rocket one as well, but um, it's not currently set up that way. But anyway, uh, so what are we going to do with Battletech today? I do have all the DLCs. We'll just do a number of regular careers type stuff. And new, start all the brand new stuff. So, if you're not familiar with Battletech, uh, unequip mechs. So, new mechs uh, you require through salvage will not come with equipped weapons or components and will need to be customized from scratch. So, we usually keep that on. This is basically to determine the difficulty of the game. Iron Man mode, I turn this off for reasons. Uh, reduced uh, Argo upgrade cost. That could save us some money in the long run, but we'll leave that on. Uh, parts from mech assembly. So, what this means is. After combat, you get to, if you set up your contract correctly, you get to pick salvage. And if you were lucky enough to destroy some enemy uh, mechs and get their parts, if you get enough of those parts, you can build a new mech. And this basically tells you how many parts you need in order to build a new mech. We usually leave it at three because it takes forever otherwise. I'm not sure it was one of the first games you started watching me stream during the beta. Yes, I do have a, f I've been playing this game for a little bit. I haven't played it in a while, but when it first came out, uh, I'm actually a, a Kickstarter backer. I forget what level it was. The level where you get a hat and some other stuff. <laughs> that's that's my level of uh, Kickstarter backer for this game. So I participated in closed beta. Um, I have technically over 1,200 hours in the game, which isn't a lot, lot. I mean, it's a lot, but it's not a lot, lot. Uh, but yeah, Bob, where is Bob these days? And Galarian again. We think Bob really enjoys being a dog. Yeah, that's the last time I really saw Bob. Hey, Brew, welcome back. What the heck is this game? I don't know. Randomized starting mechs. Yeah, I want to keep that on. Uh, keep that at normal. Mech destruction. So this means your mechs can actually be destroyed. Um, we'll leave that off. Salvage is normal. Uh, normal is normal. It's good. Uh, lethality. Oh, this is uh, where your mech warriors can die. Oh, sorry. That are incapacitated, incapacitated in combat will always die. They can already die as it is. <laughs> but in this way, if they even get knocked out, they basically can die. Which is bad. Uh, no rare salvage? No, we don't want to do that. Uh, difficulty score modifier, 0.6. I don't really care. So, Is this the online one? There is no online one.
building the mech for Bob for his arena fight was fun. Yeah, that was that was an adventure. There's a lot of work on my side of things, though. A lot of stuff should have been built into the game itself, but it wasn't. So it was a lot of work on for me. Okay, now we get to build our main character. So character origins. So our right-hand side of the thing will be changing all this stuff. Actually, just change it now. So, first name. Gimpy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, call sign is first name will be Gimpy. Last name. Papillon. You'll get this in a little bit. And we'll do he. Uh, let's see. The easiest portrait to modify. Not that guy. Not that guy. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that one. So makeup. No makeup. No tattoo. No scars. I don't have any scars on my face. Hairstyle. I'll take that hairstyle. Eyebrows. Doesn't work. Facial hair. That's more accurate. Expression. Who cares? Complexion. Close enough. It's a clothing. We need to stick to this one so it's easier to remember when we're doing uh, other new people into the, into the group. Lighting's fine. Camera. That's fine too. It's a hair roots. So again, you can go through and change the color of your hair if you want. Is that the color? That's the color you use. And then the hair tips. This is if you want to you know, give a little bit of age to yourself if, or your character if you want. Can't really tell, but that's okay. Eyes. Got that one. Skin. Not pale enough. Eh, good enough. Lips, don't care. Makeup, don't use any. So that's fine. So, gimpy stuff. All set. Okay, so now as far as background goes. So these backgrounds determine your stats over on the right hand side gunnery, piloting tactics, and guts. Those are pretty much what you think they are. Started playing an old game the other day. Have you ever played Valkyrie Chronicles? No, but I've seen it. It's not really. I don't know which one. Have I seen? I don't know which one I've seen. Aren't there more than one? Anyway, so. And also, if you're playing the campaign in this. Actually, does it even affect. It may affect uh, some other stuff, even in the career mode. Um, your background will affect certain events that you get. Uh, so different factions. Uh, what do we want to do? I'd like a little bit more piloting if we can. It's decades ago. Your family uh, came to their Oregon, Re Oregon Reach and uh, the Federated Sons. Remote periphery. That doesn't really change anything. Yeah, this isn't affecting our stats. So this is just for story purposes. And this basically this is just different. Uh, Gildaren, Steiner. Unlike a Stellaris area, Arena DLC was such a shame. Yeah, well, things happened and things happened. Nothing you can do about it. So our family went bankrupt. Um... Yeah. Family died in an accident, piloting in guts, so three. I want piloting, uh, sorry, I want gunnery at least three, and I want, I think, guts of at least three, if I remember right. So we'll take those two. And do I want to be a Solaris Gladiator wave of gunnery? Three. Tactics. Gunnery. Coalition Soldier. Um, and I'd stick with the Gladiator. And again, all these choices can affect little storyline things. 
So, we can live with this. Okay, all set. A mercenary career. You have to have uh, everything an industrious mercenary commander could want. A crew of talented misfits, a lance of ancient battle decks, and a derelict cargo ship to call home. It's uh, one thing to finish a mission in one place, more or less, but it's another to keep your mech warriors happy and healthy, your mechs patched up and ready for action, and your balance sheet uh, firmly in the black. As the rumors of another war of succession intensify, the Mercenary Review Board announces new evaluation protocols to assess the mercenary companies of the periphery with a score. Their blog. Explaining what happened. Oh, are they even around? No, they are not, actually. I believe they have uh, dissolved. I haven't read the blog but, blog, but I saw something a month or two back or something like that where they're trying to reform. Probably not as harebrained schemes because harebrained schemes, I believe, technically belongs to Paradox now. They became independent as of second, 22nd of January. There we go. So, are they still harebrained schemes or are they a different group? Okay, so this is the Argo. Captain Quarters first. So this is all Kickstarter stuff in the background. And a colors for a unit. Um, I usually do the colors of the dog. So usually white. Which one was for Mickey? Because we'll do Mickey already because he's set up to be our logo. Brownish, right? Reddish brown. And tertiary colors don't show up all that well here. Now that seems to be more of a white, doesn't it? Yeah, we can look at this. Oh, and then our logo. So, the only modding that I've done is I went in and I changed two of these logos to Mickey and Rocket. <laughs> so... And when I used to play this on a regular basis, basically we would just use one of these logos. We'd either alternate from stream to stream or from uh, run to run. In this case, we'll just put on Mickey for now. We can always come back and change colors too. Okay, so our command center. Oh, this is for missions. So there's hope yet? Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Spoiler. <coughs> worry about that later. Barracks. So it takes a couple of seconds here to generate the list of stuff. Chances of them returning with something sooner rather than later are rather slim. Yeah. Yeah, Paradox still owns the rights to Battletech currently. And even past then, Microsoft still owns the licensing whenever that expires. So if Harebrain was managed to reform and start building another game, uh, they would probably not do another Battletech game because acquiring a license might be a little tricky at this point. Check out this mech bay, Commander. Pretty great, right? Just set up like this, there's nothing I can't do. Oh my god. So we got two Centurions, two Commando, one Bees, and an Irby. Oh, you know what? I messed up on the colors. We'll fix that in later. Actually, no, we'll do it now. The third color is supposed to be black. Commando's so fra fragile, but so much punch for the weight. I 
mean, I'm saying they hit really hard, but for their, what is it, 25 tons? They, they're pretty solid for a 25 tonner. So our tertiary color would be black. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so. We're not going to be doing any refitting right now because we don't have the money and equipment to do it. So all we're really going to be doing is looking at patterns. And... Isn't there a camera thing or is that something else? Scrap Mac. No, don't scrap the Mac. Refit. So this is what we're looking at. So any, the Centurion, very solid, 50-ton Mac. AC-10, right arm, two medium lasers in the chest, and LRMs in the left torso. Pesky Microsoft, yes, holding on to their stuff. Probably shouldn't do change any stuff at the moment. Oh, you Mac. There we go. So this is what we're thinking of. So different cameras to look at stuff. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's a five. Let's see. This is important stuff, so. Yeah, stick with five. So I'll put you on pattern five too. He's already there. Commandos. It looks very bloody. It's so beat up. Actually, kind of like four. Yeah, let's stick with four. You out of five, which on four as well, and then the crappy Irby. Oh, I forgot to look at the loadouts on the commandos. And choose that one. Okay, so the Irby comes with an AC-10, 10, 10, one ton of ammo, and a small laser over on the other side. Rocket has just realized that Mrs. Kimpy has left. He's not happy. Okay, and then the commandos, both the same. So a large laser, oh, this is the laser versions. So an SRM-2 in the chest, medium laser in the left arm, large laser in the right. Hmm. Probably not the best of the Irby's, not that there is a thing, but... Oh, sorry, the Commandos, sorry. Commandos. Not the best of the Commandos. The, the D is better, with the SRMs on it. These are a little bit more longer range. Okay, so I think we're good. Storage, ammo, equipment, we have nothing. Okay, so, uh, barracks, McWarriors. So, we have uh, a few. 
I'm listening. Yes, Commander. Waiting on you, Commander. Commander. So. Standing by. I uh, copy. Same as usual. If you would like to be one of the mech warriors, just use your um, acorns by clicking on the little squirrel at the bottom of your chat window with the number next to it. If you have 3,000 or more, you can do choose um, name generator, and then you can grab one of these uh, mech warriors. We just don't want to spend a whole lot of time customizing. Commander? But we can change names and appearances if we really want Standing to. Standing by. I hear you. We just don't want to spend a lot of time doing it because of uh, limited time today. But good enough. The spirit expects low life and life expectancy. Yes. Hey, zombie, welcome back. Reporting. So, which one does spirit order? Waiting for orders. Good to go. What can I do for you? Hmm. So chilly. This is our scout person, Jasconius. Ready for orders. Richards for everyone. Well, maybe not that bad. Can't really change their clothing. Change his portrait. Can with a little bit with the slider. It's not. It's not. Not really worth it. We're good with this. So, and Vukuls, you will not die for sure. It sounds like you want to be a scout. Mostly color swaps. Yeah. So do you want to be chilly, uh, Vukruz? This is going to be our scout, you know. Definitely not going to die. All guns all the time. Reading you. So if you're going to be, uh, or who do you want to be, Vukruz? Waiting on you, Commander. 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 Good to go. Book rules. Let me choose. I could make you. Commander. This is gonna. This guy's gonna be, or this this person is going to be our. Okay, so you'll be our scout then. <laughs> In our typical naming situation here. Because stuff. Okay, no more volunteers, no more volunteers. Dun, dun. So, contracts. We're good everywhere else. We can't do ship grades yet. How much money do we have? 200,000. I don't even know where we are. You shouldn't ask those questions, Rupert. This is where we are. So the map. That's what's what's available to us. I guess not. And we have to decide: do we want to be for the pirates or against the pirates? That's something we usually do uh, from the start. Hero seizure. Recovery in the jungle. So we've located a secure facility where the Torrent Concordat, Concordat uh, stores its payroll before blah blah blah. We believe we could put the payroll to better use. We'd like to you to hire hire you to hit the facility and steal the payroll. It'd be well defended and there is a bonus if you eliminate all the defenders. It's only half a score half a skull, so that's a, you know, difficulty. Eh, we'll see what happens. Now do we want more money? Do we want salvage? Um, I think we want more money currently. We'll take a little bit of salvage.
Okay, Max. Centurion. Centurion. Commandos. Actually, probably the herb. The herby is a little bit bigger, isn't it? Sadly. Herbies are what, 30 tons? So, who's our next best shooter? Oh, they're all the same. Save the cruels. I'll put you in the commando to be safe. It's got a little it's got large lasers, so he doesn't have to get up close and personal. And these two are the same. So tailgate it is. Okay, so there's the deployment. And let's go. Firstly, I'm not above simply robbery, simple robbery to pay the bills, Commander. Who's saying that? Command interface initiated. Got updated intel on the employer, says Darius. Uh, they believe the base is going to be even more heavily defended than we thought. Of course it is. We need to move up and get a look at the base so we can get see what kind of firepower we're facing. Once we grab the payroll, the leopard will attract us at this landing zone. This LZ. Good hunting, Commander. Uh, uh, Darius out. How Darius still has a job, I don't know. Okay, so this game. Right now it's uh, kind of like real-time mode until we get to a combat situation. And this is a jungle, so... Oh, it's actually not real time. Thought it was. Double click. Copy that. Flip over here. Vehicle. Should be a vehicle. Looks like a vehicle. Hope it's a vehicle. Or it might be a tower. A tower this early, though. It's been a while. Right, Commander! Yeah, the pool's on the commando. Totally safe. Moving, mm hmm. That is a mech. That is not a vehicle. So, lights first, medium second, head large is third, and assaults last. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. You're in the Irby. Irby's can jump. Not very far, but they can jump. So on my way. It's time to earn our money. How soon will our allies, Atlas's lands, be here? Um, never. Oh, look, it's a locust. Two machine guns. Oh, sorry, yeah, two machine guns and a laser. Medium laser. So no big deal there. It's a locust anyway. Not that we're, you know, beasts or anything. Yeah. Some cruels does have a large laser. And this is move and fire, right? Or just don't move and fire. Get into a forest for cover. 
turn back around that way. Yep. Now the chance to hit there is going to be really slim. It's with the sparkles. Uh, let's see. Don't shoot those. Just a large laser. 40% chance to hit. So, arm mounted, weapon accuracy, target moved, target size. So, fire. Here you go. And lucky hit. No right arm for you, so you just lost the machine gun. So. I think I just hit on something special. Yep. Good shooting. Lost its arm. We don't even have to move. We can just launch missiles at him from here. Oh yeah, and they are shoddy, so easy to kill. So AC and LRMs have a chance to hit, so sure, why not? Should I'll get bonuses for being veterans? You're not veterans, though. Oh, look, he fell over already. So yeah, there's stability stuff, which is the the yellow bar, right? That's your stability level. Once you get to a certain point, the next hit knocks you over. Because he lost a part, I think that's helped with that. And then the white bar, that's the pirate, the pilot's health. And the orange bar is E, I think. It's been a while. Commander. Coordinates received. The number of hours we dedicated to this game, we are for, for sure veterans. Sure. Don't have direct line, but... Oh. That's a 65. Kill it. Oh, we get to do a call shot. Um, we don't have any real salvage, so we'll kill it. Target acquired. No. Solid connection on that one. So that's solid. He's still alive. Commando. Shooting out of Irby. So this locust has got to be... He's fairly beat up. Missing a leg. Side torso is ready to go. I hear you. Okay, Irby. Go deal with the fire... Oh, it's a fire starter. So, two machine guns. Four flamers? Four flamers, two mediums. So... We must kill him. Jump. Rough terrain. How's he going to take stability damage from all attacks? Difficulty to hit units within rough terrain with melee attacks. So any flame? Well, that's why they call it the fire starter. That's not forest up here. Can't jump into cover, really. Can get closer. Now we can just stay back here and uh, utilize the AC-10 advantage. AC-10's in the right arm, so we'll twist to the right to protect that arm. I leap! I soar! Precision strike. Um, harder to hit, but their next initiative is reduced by one to a minimum of one. So that'll make a move with the mediums. Or we could just shoot them. We'll just shoot them. Got it. It's an exposed structure somewhere. His left torso. 
Okay, for close close finish off this, uh, this little locust. Keep moving. Aim for the leg so he doesn't get up. I can just do it that way. This works. I got him. That works. Okay, so mediums are next. Let the spirit or go first. Mm, get up closer. Yeah. Not sure if that's the smartest thing to do. So 40, 50, 50, 20. Too close for the LRMs, that's why. AC 10 because it was shot last turn, so there's a penalty for using it. Just sit back here. Still. Moving out. Target, oh, target size, target move, minimum range. So that's what, that's so penalty. But, hits or hits. And this is refire, so we won't shoot the AC-10 this round. So you don't want this stuff. Mainly because well, next turn, this is going to jump up quite a bit. So, LRMs, who cares? Because each mission, missile has a chance to hit. That's how that works. So, keep being. Fifth, oh, we might have Gimpy make his shot with the AC Tana being fifth. Eh. Now we'll wait. Went back to killing a lot of ground. What do you mean went back to? I never left. Now what's he gonna do? He's gonna get up close and start breathing all over us. There's the flamers. Ow. Machine gun. Damn it. I'm <laughs> wounded. And Dispirator takes a hit. So Battletech. <laughs> That's how that works. Basically machine gun. I don't I've always been under thought if your if your mech still has armor on the head, your pilot shouldn't be able to get hurt. I'm just saying that's the way it's supposed to be working. Unless you fall over, then this is a different story. But if it's just from a freaking machine gun hitting you, that shouldn't be damaging your pilot. They're still until you get mobbed. Yeah, I know. I know. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, I'm not quite behind him. Here we go. Snatch didn't save him. Well, it did, but it didn't. And everything from the side. Oh, look, he didn't need your left side at all. Another hit like that, and you're toast. The, fall through that dirt. So that's two injury, two injuries on the pilot. Three is usually enough to uh, knock them out, and then you get to uh, salvage the mech with whatever's left on it. The stash should be eat all the bullets. It should have, but it didn't. Commander, let's get over close enough. So, left torso. No. 
that hit. CT in the arm. So, who wants to kill shop? Good aim. <laughs> this is the part of the game where aiming really doesn't matter. Okay, we're not done yet. Because we have to get to the base. And there shouldn't be towers, right? Affirmative. Moving out. It's totally safe. Totally safe. Oh, this location until our people can ground the payroll crates. The asset has been secured and is ready for retrieval. Area has been cleared. Daris give me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. So sometimes stuff go, just goes smoothly at the end. So mission complete. Uh, Pay out of sixty nine thousand. Reputation changes. <sighs> Unfortunately, the spirit or was hit, so he's not going to be out for twenty three days. Stupid machine guns. And salvage. We only get one item to choose from. So fire starter part. Not a bad start. I'll grab the fire starter. And so we got the a locust part, flamer, medium laser, machine gun, and machine gun ammo. So, no problem. And as far as mech well, uh, repairs go, space, nobody got, none of the mechs got damaged, so they don't need to be repaired. At least significantly hurt. Minor stuff at best. So repaired for free. So I'll set there. Day. Learn to build a local defense force. Our pilots are in the experience on testing, and we'd like you to help us train them. We picked up a traveling signal, um, which may represent hostile activity. Which seems like a good opportunity to send our new defense force out to handle it. Can you uh, bring along an experienced mech warrior and mech to keep them out of trouble? Sure. And... More money, a little bit of salvage. Torn Concordat, we don't like them, so we're good. Not against the pirates, so we're okay there too. And locked. So this one, Gimpy and the Centurion. Because glorious leader, that'll work. So this is inter this these missions are entertaining because um, we get the the losers of their group to uh, help them around, help them do stuff. I can only imagine what kind of junk heaps these locals are going to be piloting. I'm expecting Irby's. Bring something tough, Commander. Oh, it's a little late for that. Command interface initiated. I love the smell of coolant in the morning. It says guano. What a name. Coolant's toxic. If you can smell coolant, uh, you're probably going to die. Wait, um, what does it smell like? Because there's a weird smell in here, says Pontoon. Focus people. Commander, we're seeing an engine signatures from a single lance in the AO. It should be right about here. 
Let's do this as burger time. So, it smells kind of like onions. Does coolant smell like onions? I'll be on station, Commander. Meet me here when you're ready to leave. So, these guys come in mechs that we don't choose from. We don't care if they... Well, we do kind of care if they die, because they're supposed to survive. But anyway, he's in a commando. Commando D. So, let's get up close and personal. Ready for orders. And an Irby AC-10 small laser, so standard Irby. Slower than dirt. Picked up a blip. We can't yell at them. We can't eat them at the enemy this time. We almost survive. We can't eat them. What's eat? Oh, we got two Irbys. Aren't we lucky? Oh, toss. No. Moving out. I've never seen that word used that way before. Actually, I don't even know what that... I, I've seen that word in a game. I think Master of Magic has it. But I didn't realize what it was. What the actual meaning was. Like a catapult. Well, I get that. Is that a panther? Looks like a panther. PBC would be nice. Panther 9R. PBC and us are so standard. Okay, guys. Don't die on Commander. me. Commander. Oh, the bots are back. Same companies yesterday, even. You guys suck at your jobs. Just want to point that out. That's a King Krabs would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't disagree. King Krabs and Alice's together are better, though. Okay, so. Not the best range, but we'll do it anyway. All weapons are good. So these are shoddy, so 50% of its normal armor, so we should be able to tear through these. Hi, Rocket. Hi, Rocket. Rocket's upset because he's not the, the mascot this run. Hey there. Herbie. Oh, I've got to jump across there. Affirmative. Wants to get my lap? No, he doesn't. Rocket is not a lap dog. Trust me, he is not a lap dog. Engaging. Sixty percent chance to miss. I'm here. The other Irby. All right. Right. Structure exposed. That's left side. PPCs on the other side. SRMs on the chest on this thing. Okay, Gimpy. Oh, we got to be careful of friendly fire too. I forgot that that's a thing in this game. That dirt was killed for sure. You don't know that. AC-10, LRM-10. Can't aim. So he's unsteady. What's so friendly about shooting your allies? I'll let you know when you shoot him in the back. Waiting for orders. Commando, get up here.
Okay, so we're going to hit him from the side. There's facing in this game. you got front, left, right, and back. Actually, it's not even that. It's just front and back. But when you attack from the side, the only locations you can hit are the arm, the leg, and the side torso. There's the only spots you can hit from the side. From behind, you just hit the back. Front, it's all of all this, uh, everything you can see, except for the back, of course. This might hurt. You can see at the top there, see the little red outline there? That just shows which area, which spot you're going to be hitting. Could have been better. But now his, you know, left side is, you know, pretty beat up. How's it going? Well, you're in the Irby, you tell me. Actually hit. Reporting critical hit. So he's unsteady, ready to fall over. Commander. I. Ten four. Take that building. <laughs> and of course, can't be. Can't jump. He's got to run through all this broken terrain. But he's got LRMs. He doesn't care. LRMs, long-range missiles. Shoot everything. Shoot everything. All weapons eliminated. All primary targets have been destroyed. Enemy mech destroyed. I've got a blip coming in low and fast. Looks like a leopard making a drop. Expect company. We're not done yet. Local rising muskrats? I don't think that's a thing. Let's have gunnery of two or less. Well, seeing that Gimpy's gunnery is only three. Huntress. Thanks for the stream. I'll be heading to the next one. Okay, Huntress. Thank you very much for watching. And Oh, I guess I should say that, huh? Technically... And the end of my my term on here on hashtag term based Thursday Fest is officially over. If you'd like to move on to the next uh, person on the list of uh, featured games and that kind of fun stuff, just head on over to uh, termbasefest.com and scroll down a little bit to see the schedule and uh, look up to should be what um, 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Is the next person in line? I forget who it was. Um, but get a, get, anyway, if you're interested in seeing what the next stuff is, just head on over there. Or you can just stay here because we'll be playing Battletech for another hour or so. And then we'll be switching over to Pathfinder or Wrath of the Righteous for the rest of the day. So, questions? Stuff. Affirmative on a station. Meet me at this landing zone. But what if we want to fight them? See you, Huntress. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we have to get over here to get out of here. So start running. Roger that. Roger. Affirmative. We can stay and fight, but there's no real reason to do that. Shit, Commander. Remember that leopard men I mentioned? Looks like they dropped another mech. A big one. Big? What does big mean? I don't want to die. That target is optional, Commander. Take him it is time to take a break. If you don't feel these trainees are up to it, head to the land evac LZ. Your next break is in one hour. Let's see what it is first. Looked like a medium. Be able to see him from here. I'm sure it'll be safe. Am 
want to see what it is. This should be evasive enough to uh, not be an easy target. That's oh, only a panther. It said a big one and it was a fire starter, although I had a trap, T bolt, and dragon up show up. Yeah, that's not a big mech, by the way. That's a 35 ton. Roger that. Of course, those hits weren't the best, for some reason. Need something, Chief? Jumping, jumping, jumping. Just the way because he does have a PPC. It's a big light, but used by laser ranging marshals. How about lazy ranging misfits? Precision strike? Eh, it just makes it harder to hit, so just fire. Feel the love. Ah, eh, nice hit. Oh, damage reduction because he's in the trees. But his legs uh, pretty beat up. I'm receiving you. And we're using jumping. It gives them a penalty to to hit stuff, but it makes them harder to hit to be hit. So because it gives them automatic two, three ticks of evasion. It's three, two. Sorry, two. It's a kind of commando down there. Copy that, commander. And get lucky. Can't be sitting in the trees. <laughs> He's the only one that matters if it survive if he survives. Now he could do precision strike. Let's do that. He's using so as you do damage and stuff, and as combat happens, your little blue bar over here, your your resolve fills up, and as you reach reach certain points, um, you know you get precision strikes. It cheats up some of that resolve. And there's other things you can do too, but that's the primary one. Right? There's other stuff. We want to aim for the leg. Engaging target. Of course, he's got bulwark in the trees, so he's not taking a whole lot of damage. He is, but it's okay. Receiving you. Okay, so, Mr. Commando, you feel really brave. Oh, and also because we used precision, it bumped him back in the, the phase order up top. So he, he was supposed to be here with the lights in phase four, but he got bumped back to three with Gimpy. So, which gives us an opportunity to, you know, kill him before he gets to move. If our cadets can, you know, pull it off. We still have another precision strike to do. I just shoot. Copy that. That's a decent amount of hits. Kill him. Are you playing as a band of murderers? Yes, we are. Well, when we say kill him, we mean kill the mech, not necessarily the pilot. Ideally, we want to knock the pilot out, make him unconscious so he can pick, take his mech, and just leave him there laying on the ground dying. So. But you don't Wait have forward. to kill them. It's just totally optional. Confirm. Yes, muggers. Muggers is more accurate. All right, let's do this. Stray shot, destroy that building. <laughs> ah, that was good. Kill the meat, save the metal. Yes. Hey, Hurricane, welcome back. Standing by. Copy that, Commander. That was on a war crime. That building was evacuated. I'm sure. See, good. See, we did a good thing by knocking down that okay. building because that guy wouldn't have, would have hit the building too. So we saved lives there.
That's obstructed. That is not. That is not. Oh, and this is a side shot, too. So we are going to do a precision strike, keep him bumped back in the, the turn order there. And we're going to aim for his left leg. So 80, 70, 70, 80. So that's a good chance to blowing off his left side there, or his right side. All weapons committed. Or not. But he's been pop pumped back to a phase three. Standing by. Oh, look at that. Bunch of SRMs from the side slash back. This is going to be hopefully painful. I want this commando. The laser one is okay, but I'd rather have this one. So, yep. I don't know, jump just for you on that side. That hit something good. He's got to be ready to fall over. No, he's not. Good to go. No? Nothing? No good spots. Sprint. Affirmative. Yes, Commander. You can jump up there. It'll be safe. Totally safe. And another stray shot. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. <laughs> Exhaustingly resilient, becoming these limping sticks that lucky like headshot. Hit about one of your mechs in the cockpit and kill a pilot. That's only I'm other lights. You'll be fine. You'll be totally fine. So Gimpy can just sit back here and just shoot him. I mean, he's almost basically, he's basically in optimal range. You're hopping around on one foot to ram that you with his body saying something about it's just being a flesh wound. <laughs> but it's not a flesh wound. It's never just a flesh wound. Wow, that was amazingly bad. Wait a minute, how do, how's he moving first? Oh, because it alternates. Forget about that. Everybody had that rule. That's why have you been precision, shy, precision shooting him? Uh, Orders. Melee. I forgot to do melee. I forgot to do melee attacks. Is it just... Sprint, jump. Okay, so it's just move and headbutt him. We're trying to. Oh yeah, the small laser up close. Getting rid of that evasion. Supporting. Negative damage. 
Yeah, we saw. Yes, Commander. On the move. This will be safe. We know this is safe. Attack versus fire, that's what it is. As warrior, show what you got. Ta -da. Well done, you managed to wipe out the uh, op four. I can uh, I can do an extract right now. No need to get to your prime or your, to our plant L Z. Mission successful. Ta da. So killing that giant panther. Anyway. Oh, look how much money. 297. So success, success, success. Increased to 10% because of that. Yeah, we don't care about them. Mech is basically untouched. And salvage. So Panther or PPC? Panther parts or PPC? Uh, to the PPC first. Two heat sinks, some jump jets. I guess it's not horrible, horrible. At least it wasn't an Atlas. An Atlas would have been a problem. I mean, we could have killed it, but it would have been a problem. Anyway. Gotta take a break. Gotta get up, stretch my legs, get some water, go talk to Ronkin for a little bit. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll continue on Battletech when I get back. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy the dog video.